All right. So we are going to talk about being kind. And today I have a bucket. Oh, let me move it down so you guys can see me. Can you see me now? Let's see. All right. So I have a bucket and I want us to think about everybody that you know all has a bucket above their head. Your mom has a bucket that you can't see. It's invisible. And your dad has a bucket above his head. And Miss Dobek has a bucket above her head. And you guys have buckets above your heads. Can you see your bucket? No, it's invisible. You can't see your bucket. But your bucket is how it affects your feelings about how you feel all the time. And so if somebody pours good things into your bucket, you feel really good, right? But if somebody says mean things to you, oh no, your bucket turns over and you start to feel icky. Your bucket is empty. That's the same with everybody else. If you say really nice things, you're filling up their bucket. But if you say mean things or you're mean to someone, their bucket goes, oh no, and it tips over and all of the stuff falls out and then they feel sad. So we want to fill our mom's bucket and our dad's bucket and our friend's buckets and our brother's and sister's buckets and so I have a book and it's called, How Full Is Your Bucket? And it's written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. And it's illustrated by Maury J. Manning. Illustrations are the pictures in the book. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled, go away, you're too little. Hmm. I'm big. Stay back, you'll knock it over, said Felix. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. And then Anna's feeling very mad and sad. And so what did she do? She knocked over his tower. Oh no. I'm gonna show you that. All right. Grandpa, said Felix. Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. So when Felix was mean to his sister, it dumped her bucket. And then when her bucket was empty, she got mad and she knocked over his blocks. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. And when it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix just couldn't quite tell if his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got to get to a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped and cocoa weeds scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and a vi big invisible drip spilled out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, laughed Anna, and she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean up that mess before you miss the bus, scowled mom. 
And with the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the, up the cocoa weed, grabbed the last blue, blueberry muffin, and before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst. Felix did this. Psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. Hold on just a second. We have another friend joining us. All right. It was still morning and Felix's bucket was almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would all just trip and fall. Oh, that wasn't very nice, was it? That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. You think mean things. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumbernickel walked slowly up to the desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly look at it. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a great big drop land right in his bucket. Drop! Now he's got some water in there. The Gigantosaurus, who wanted a pet by me, Felix. Drop, 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 more drops in the bucket. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at all the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. He got a note from his mom. Drop. The team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors. Felix. Drop. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Drop. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone had a bucket. Look at all the buckets over their heads. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Oh. Felix is going to learn something new now. Here's your baseball. Catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. Hey, I'm Felix. First day. Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that every drop, he, when he helped someone, another drop went into his bucket. So when he helped a mirror, a, a drop went into Felix's bucket and a drop went into a mirror's bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, you were right, Grandpa, I do have a bucket and I understand how it works. And then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the whole wide world with my blocks? Oh, look at that. Felix is being nice to Anna now. And so they did. Drop, drop. <laughs>